Hi people. Yellowstone has been our favorite series for the past year, and we believe there has been no other show that deserved that spot quite as much. Yellowstone is a masterpiece that successfully merges the traditional Western tropes with a modern aesthetic and narration, and we believe it's what we have been needing for years. With a very strong cast including Kevin Costner, the show already makes a good start that signals there is a lot to unpack there. However, when you combine these good qualities with a brilliant scenario, then there is nothing else left to talk about. From day one, Yellowstone has managed to subvert our expectations to the point that we stopped even guessing about what will happen next, since there is no way we can come up with an accurate prediction. Still, we can proudly claim that we improved ourselves in the past few months and feel like this time, as we're slowly approaching Season 5, we can change this doomed fate. Thus, we welcome you with a lot of strong predictions about Season 5 that will not only shock you but also make sure that you will be ready for Season 5 of Yellowstone. First, let's revisit what had happened back in Season 4. The season started with Duttons trying to figure out what had happened to them back in the Season 3 finale, where they're all brutally attacked. While Beth and Casey survived with relatively minor injuries, John had to be hospitalized for months before finally turning back to his beloved ranch. After that point, the Duttons' desire for revenge culminated gradually. They started to target possible candidates that might have been involved with the attacks but often failed to reach the real perpetrator. Then, one day, a clue lead their way to a prisoner, who turned out to be the guy who arranged all the attacks. The problem was the fact that he wasn't a familiar face to the Duttons and had no personal motives to organize such attacks. Since the attacks were so obviously personal, it didn't make any sense which lead them to the conclusion that there must be yet another man giving the orders. Throughout the seasons, the Duttons found other clues here and there and trying to bring them together to solve the puzzle. In the meantime, they asked for Jamie's assistance to question the prisoner. Although Jamie genuinely wanted to help his estranged family, soon he found out that the man behind all these was his biological father, Garrett. Naturally, he couldn't handle this fact and faced Garrett with his crimes. As a master manipulator, Garrett managed to convince Jamie that he was doing all these for Jamie and the Duttons should fall so that they can rise. Jamie had no other choice but to give in. And yet, while Jamie managed to cover up the traces of his father that might possibly link him to the attacks, the truth couldn't remain as a secret for so long. When Beth found out about the prisoner in question and went to talk with him, she realized that all these had to do something with Jamie. As expected, she lose no time in confronting him. Jamie confessed that even though he wasn't involved in the crimes, he knew Garrett was the responsible one but preferred to remain silent. Beth, who was already looking for an excuse to ruin Jamie for old grudges, utilized this moment to force Jamie to do the unthinkable. In the end, we watched Jamie killing his father Garrett and burying him somewhere outside the borders of Montana. Beth, who never leaves anything to the chance, photographed Jamie while he was carrying Garrett's body. Now, as you can see, Season 4 ended with not a major cliffhanger, but with a major twist that will change the course of Yellowstone completely. We expect to see Jamie more than ever in the upcoming season as he will probably be the central figure in the show. So far throughout the past four seasons, we witnessed the rise of Beth as a character. She reached a point that she is often pointed to as the possible candidate to inherit the Yellowstone Ranch. However, in our opinion, by forcing Jamie to kill Garrett, she reached her peak and from that point on, the only way left is downwards. We believe she crossed a major line by doing this and when John learns about what she had done, he will lose no time in confronting her. We also saw at the end of season 4 that John was genuinely afraid and upset over the possibility of losing his son. Thus, we believe season 5 will witness a big father-son moment between John and Jamie as we watch the two gradually rebuilding their relationship. This will most definitely annoy Beth since she is obsessed with her father and cannot stand Jamie. We also know the fact that Beth has big leverage against Jamie as she has the evidence to blame him for his father's death. Therefore, she will probably treat him as if Jamie is her dog. We believe Jamie will feel obliged to follow her orders and do her dirty work for a remarkable time. And yet, at one point, he will have had enough and burn all the bridges. He may even kill Beth at that point since he will probably think that he had nothing to lose in life. We believe the wedding ceremony that John plans to organize for Beth and Rip might witness major bloodshed caused by Jamie. We wouldn't be surprised to see Beth not being able to survive after such an incident. For the entirety of Season 4, 
We felt like we were witnessing the downfall of a character, Jamie, but perhaps season 5 will prove us wrong and show that it was actually Jamie's villain origin story and he will reborn as the true antagonist of the show. What are your expectations from Yellowstone season 5? Are you excited about the series return? Who are you rooting for, Jamie or Beth? Let us know what you think in the comments below and don't forget to like, subscribe and share the video. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.